The LaGrange Courthouse Square came to life with the 16th annual Arts on the Green, a juried fine arts and crafts festival. A lot of talented artists here. I've had some time to walk around and I, I actually found out about it by one of the artists, a guy that's a metal worker. I, we were visiting here in LaGrange a few years ago and stopped into their uh, gallery and he told me about it and so I investigated and decided to apply for it. It's a jury show, so they don't just let anybody in. Original handcrafted painting, mixed media, photography, ceramics, sculpture, glass, jewelry, candles, special foods and soaps, metal, wood and fiber works by the 120 plus artists from our region and many other states. Many of the artists also exhibit at St. James Court Art Show, Cherokee Triangle, Melwood, and the Winter Fair. Well, it's our hobby to make all these things, but in order to make them, we have to sell them. So we were accepted into this wonderful craft show, and we have come here this weekend to try to sell as many pieces as we can. Everything's been really enjoyable thus far. You know, we've got perfect weather. We got great setup here, lots of shade, lots of people, so we're happy. Great food vendors were available throughout the day, serving breakfast to dinner with assorted sandwiches, crab cakes, Greek fare, and barbecue. For the sweet tooth, there were candied nuts, soft serve ice cream, funnel cakes, and more. Sit down and take a rest while enjoying a cold beer or wine while listening to Americana music on both days performed on the Woodsongs Coffee House stage hosted by Tim Curtis and sponsored by Oldham County Parks and Recreation under the tent. The Oldham County History Center hosted the Colonial Trade Fair adjacent to the Arts on the Green. The fair exhibits vendors in the 1700s in authentic costumes and selling fairs of that time period. We are historical reenactors. We have been doing this for over 30 years. Um, we pers we, our persona is Revolutionary War as we're dressed today. We also do the War of 1812. Thanks to all the artists and volunteers who made Arts on the Green 2015 a huge success.